Fast it. Okay. T today's the the longest. L last night was the longest uh, day of the season. I mean the year, and it's the beginning of uh, summer officially, right? So um, the symbol of this uh, um, time is lotus, and if if you go to um, China, you will see lotus uh, in the large lakes as well as in small um, pond. Uh, gardens. So today we're going to do this uh, pavilion, uh, lot lotus with a pavilion, a pavilion by the lotus lake. This one of the the painting of uh, Chibaish is a uh, record breaking uh, series uh, of uh, twelve seasonal scrolls, and uh, this is just a small album leaf, I think. It's only a close up, but you can see happy fish swimming in the pool, and uh, you can see a, a, a scholar or poet uh, looking at uh, lotus uh, in, in, a, in a pavilion, and here also a very famous uh, twelve another twelve scroll series. This is one of that. This is usually symbol uh of summer, so if you do four, I think if you do four season score, this will be one of them. And this is another, here's another one with a, a scholar looking at a fish swimming in the lotus pond. So I, we will start with the simplest, maybe, um, let's just do some, uh, some, uh, uh, diagram maybe <laughs> before we do the whole painting. So let me put another layer on this. If you come here, you can uh, this. <coughs> yeah, you can take take your chair okay. with you, so you don't have to stand. So I just use a little bit ink, whatever color I got, to show you the the lotus uh, leaf. Uh, this this painting is always compared, you know, to Monet's uh, Monet's uh, famous uh, water lily. Uh, lotus is a little different; it has a stem. Uh, but in distance, you know, not <laughs> very much different. But you can see we uh, don't really do the the light and the um, color of the, the the water, so it's omitted. Mm -hmm. So um, the stroke for the lotus leaf is basically a, a round uh, shape, and uh, if you load the brush with different uh, uh, grades of uh, different shades. You can see the darkest on the left, right? Mm. And uh, if you if you move uh, uh, according to a sequence, maybe from center out, I will say, or you can move from left to right, um, you you'll see a gradation mm -hmm. naturally. And when it's light, you can do the background, uh, foreground, whatever. Um, to make it the depths, to show the depths. Some overlapping, and uh, some of them may be larger and small. So the major ones should be larger, right? When the brush is, is uh, uh, dry, you can go slower. And uh, so I would, I would say, um, Make a group. I'm not sure of the authenticity of this painting because I don't really see a good grouping. So I will maybe rather use some some of these. You can see, um, let me see the detail of the. Oh here, yeah. this one. This is a little, oh here. This is a, a little bit more oh, detail yeah. like That's that. Okay. Yeah, so you can see that. So that's the, the rhythm we talked about 
is uh, dense and sparse, right? So you can have two. Uh, if you if you do three, for example, you can have two of them like combined, and then uh, one separate. So um, it's like uh, putting three cherries on the table to arrange three three cherries, for example. If you could do three cherries nicely, and you can make uh, this, uh, just keep doing this three, and you can make, uh, after the three, you can do five. If you do five, you can uh, maybe, I would say, something like that, right? Or uh, just think about and then keep changing the, the oh. distance and the numbers. So try to look at the whole whole thing, you know, as a chair as you arrange cherries. Yeah. Just think of them like a, like a, like a cherries. <clears throat> so this is the same, but not not hard edge like a. So to make uh, the hard, the edge softer, you need to load the brush with a lot of uh, water. So it's not dry brush, it's pretty wet. Um, just let it smear. And you can uh, smoosh, what is this? <laughs> smoosh it. Smooshing it, yeah, smoosh it. <laughs> okay, yeah, smoosh it. Uh, so this is uh, where you, you, you enjoy the, pa the paper, that's the work, you know, the water and the paper, that's the work. You can see the, the smooth. Uh, so just use the, uh, by smooshing, you don't use the tip, you use the, the west, not not uh, to the heel, I think. Uh, but you, to make the tip part a uh, little smoosher, you can, you can uh, paint it like that, and then mm -hmm. gradually. Uh, see, it looks like it's sort of bleeding yeah. out. Is that really, I think is, uh, maybe he, you know I mean? he, he does uh, the other way. So I, I was I'm experimenting. Oh. So I, in some painting, I see three strokes stacking together. Mm -hmm. So it could be starting from the center mm. and out, uh, because if you start from the the, uh, the first stroke, really makes a watermark. You know that, right. and it prevented from uh, the. The combination, the, the what is it? The see the the separation of the mm -hmm. watermark. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you just smoosh without lifting the brush, you know, mm -hmm. so you can make Ooh. it. It's pretty nice. So try to hide the rough edge. I mean mm -hmm. the tip of the brush. So, mm -hmm. so this need a little practice. We have the smooshy smooshy stroke. Okay. Uh, so not. Try to avoid the, the, the hard edge. Maybe just let it smear a little bit. No. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> Large brush is better, so you don't have to reload. Uh, it will last longer. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to cheat a little bit with, without sketching. I'm using the, the virtual. Um, Virtual, what do you call projector? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And make, also, I use this to make a recording. Recording of the process. And this is this is an app called Da Vinci's Eye. Record. Okay. So I have to stand. Okay. Let me do. <coughs> So you can use a stiff brush, or uh, I think he he will use a mixed hair brush to do the the lines because the combination brush will last longer. Oh, I got stains on that, oh. <laughs> but you can see there, <laughs> it is there. The the painting I'm doing is uh, uh, I'm gonna use this composition. Uh, but I use the simpler structure of the the other long one. Okay, here, here's the one. So I combine these two. So this, um, what is called this bar barakit? 
the 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 fans kind of bark it bark it bark it uh, much easier than this mm -hmm. because he's a wood cutter wood, wood uh, furniture cutter so he he can do this easily I think like his design but I can sim maybe simplify a little bit because we don't need to spend too much time on that otherwise it will take one hour so I'm looking at this. Uh, you want to look at this one? I look at my phone right now. Okay. okay. Let's do this. Oh, it's outside. Okay. I just find my my um, starting point, and then I, I look at the paper when I draw this. So this is the... It goes all the way to the um, brick the edge, so it, it, it makes the painting feels bigger, lead to infinity. Just do the man frame first. Okay. And uh, the under uh, supporting structure, and, uh, this bucket. Okay. I use tip centered stroke. You don't have to trace, just just uh, freehand draw these bars. Okay, roughly. And uh, this should be a little bit the same. It's slightly larger. And this pillow goes all the way down. This in the front. Oh, here is. Uh, Perspective. He's pretty good at the uh, perspective. Yes. That's the the pole uh, behind, you know, on the other side of the building. I think, but you don't really um, to have to be scientific. This I just painted the the feeling and impression. So. So the principle is, you know, the first the first uh, row is longer. There's, there's some short ones behind. That's it. And then some uh, some uh, I don't know how it is called the the floor kind of sticking out, su supporting of the the, mm -hmm. the yeah. What's uh, there? Are, there? There's a name for this kind of building on above the water. Is you obviously seen in the. Uh, South Asia, the, the wood, um, uh, I don't know how to say it in English, but uh, we have this kind of uh, ruins in the Neolithic time. People built buildings above water, right, like this. So, this is uh, uh, pause I left in I, my first exhibition, uh, I mean, first excavation of uh, Neolithic still, uh, Resident, like a residential is a village site has a lot of this building that uh, you, you remains. Did, you did excavation you, yeah. you studied archaeology. I, I was like a field yeah. archaeologist. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah. It was a very um, cool field, but now it's a hot field because <laughs> there are so many. I mean, I I met a, a doctor. Uh, like a, um, a PhD uh, in scientific psychology. <laughs> he, he learned in UCLA oh. in chemistry, chemistry department. Oh. <laughs> Scientist <laughs> did date with uh, you know those uh, um, carbon dating. Carbon dating, yeah, or something like that. And uh, yeah, they study materials like a 
pants, uh -huh. Uh -huh. The, the, the ancient uh -huh. pants from uh, Middle East, uh, Egypt, uh, the you know, Chinese, whatever. <laughs> so the, the work he does now is like for, for um, smugglers, I mean, right. uh, uh, the, the LA, um, what do you call this, uh, border, uh, uh -huh. Uh, what is it? Oh, customs. Customs, customs. We'll ask them to um, to date those uh, mm -hmm. you know ways or some some something. That's they they don't they, know. Yeah. That's how they scientific. can find forgeries by looking at the yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the scientific paint that's being used. Right, 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 right. right. That's that's, that, that's <laughs> a cross. What do you call it? the cross field study? It's really. You know, archaeology is the cross field. Uh, it's the crossing the science and the uh, humanities. So I, I'm a historical archaeologist. I study, uh, I end up studying medieval archaeology. So not, uh, I, yeah. So the tombs always, uh, you know, like a stilis or a seal, identify mm -hmm. the pe people, uh, some really famous in history, like uh, kings are. <laughs> Or noble. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, <laughs> so this is the the tile. We learned this before, so I don't have to describe this. So this is the. So if, when you do this, you don't have to do it equally. You know, you make uh, things like uh, like stuff, mm -hmm. <laughs> like music notes. Mm -hmm. Okay, now does the the but the building above or in the on the far side is should be lighter. So I add a little water to dilute it. You know, so okay, so outline outline the uh, first. I just start the. Try the the bottom of the brush will help to control bleed. You can you can if you don't hold the brush like a Chinese uh, calligrapher, you can use your think your your small mm -hmm. finger like that mm -hmm. to do a line. But it's not absolutely straight. Believe me, it's not. So that right there and goes to the. I just let it shake. Let it. Power, but um, so no, it's shaking. It's fine. Oops, I think I got it wrong. <clears throat> so it's always there. Okay, let me just correct that. It should be horizontal. There's no, um, I thought it was a triangle. That's okay. Try to fix it. I'll just make it black. So Make it black. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but then I have to make this part really light, so it 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 forms like a feels like a like a, a shaded side and you know, the lit side. Oh, this season is also known as the plum, plum uh, rains, rainy season. The, when the plum gets mature, it got rains like 30 days in a row. So, um, 
then you know everything is uh, like sweating, uh, very juicy. Everything got like a fungus, uh, you oh. know, every, 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 every wet. Mold. Mold, yeah, mold. So it's, uh, I hate that, but. Uh, uh, that's the climate. So they, they have this, um, what we call the dry air to, to suck up the moisture in the room. They have this, this uh, air conditioning kind of, uh, just for humidity, humidity control. Oh, a dehumidifier. Not humidifier, the other way. Dehumidifier. De dehumidifier. Oh, and, and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's dehumidifier. Right. Dehumidifier. You, I never know this because it's so dry here, right? Mm -hmm. You don't need to dehumidify, but then I never saw that when I was there. I'll just go quite quick, maybe. But he, I think he did it one by one, very, very patiently. It doesn't really cost that much time as you think. And because you want to create the contrast mm -hmm. between the architecture and uh, the lotus. So you want to spend some time to make the uh, Make the painting worse, you know. So he, because he he has a philosophy that he doesn't want to go to pure abstract because he think it's a cheating, mm -hmm. kind of um, deceive uh, people, you know, his collectors. Um, but he doesn't want to do it too realistic. So he's com he always combines like a very detailed bug on a very expressive abstract flower or something like that. So he, he, he combines different styles. And also he tried to paint something, not just copy the reality. Mm. Okay. And you can see this uh, perspective sometimes goes like the opposite. It's from large to small, you know. Yeah. So it's very classic, but just don't make it equal. I <laughs> think you can you can do the scientific way or just artistic way. And he has his own interpretation. Sometimes he he think you know he would do the vase with a flat bottom and a round mouth because uh, in, in uh, Chinese uh, uh, folk art that's how things work, because he, he, he would do a bowl of cherries, and then he, the, the bowl, the bottom is flat, because that, uh, to make the bowl stable, mm -hmm. and then he would do, uh, just like Cezanne would do, mm -hmm. <laughs> and, you know, the, the fruits is round, I mean, the, the, the function of the bowl is a plate, it's round, because that's the, mm -hmm. Picasso. Picasso, yeah, 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 just like him. So, so that's, Picasso got from uh, the primitive art in, in um, Africa, right? Mm -hmm. From Africa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's some logic, like the, some some line, you know, some sh uh, the front row is long. <coughs> uh, so if you I violate that, you might lose some uh, uh, reason. Okay, and uh, now I'm going to just do the free part uh, using um, the two colors. I think the yellow and the green. Some of them are more yellow, some are more green. I think. So I just used this uh, brush I tested before. They, they got some ink there, so that's good. I want some ink to mute the colors. Mm. So some yellow and then some... Uh, um, let's see. Oh, that's good. Yeah. 
you can you can start from a little yellow. Uh, on some painting, he dot a dark in the center, like shady. Uh, but uh, in, I think most most time he doesn't do in multiple layers, just multiple load uh, on on the single. Oh. Yeah. Two colors on the brush. Two colors on the brush. Double load. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's just do this. This, this pants have have more has more glue in it. So it oops, this is dark. Ooh. I thought it was the blue. Look, cannot tell. Okay, here we got blue in there. So let's just mix a little bit. So that um, he he create he he keeps the values separate. So mm -hmm. uh, this this painting has dark and some dark here and then the grays mm -hmm. and then this is dark also. This this bridge, so these are all arbitrary. But uh, um, if you do scientifically, it will be dark that, you know to light, right? So, but actually, he did the opposite. Uh, here's dark, it's dark, and in this painting. The dark is on, on the on on the in the in the middle ground. So that's if you think he started out with your the brush fully loaded and like started the part, here, yeah, the and dark then part. as he got lighter, mm -hmm. he would just continue to do right. I, I'll do some dark right here to start with, or maybe here is I already got some stands, right? You can just start work that in. Work that in, yeah. Just yeah, that's the way. Uh, you can leave a little bit uh, space between strokes to let it bleed mm -hmm. if you if you expect that to happen you know and you can stop bleeding if you want oh, to okay. use the yeah, this okay um if the value is too close you can add some dark later uh it, it doesn't mean you commit to do one you know but um i think it, it's better to um, have double load, but it, anyway, just blood to keep it, keep the shape in, in. Okay, some smaller is okay. And you, this one, this, this blotting also make it just uh, lighter, see? Mm -hmm. So you can make it lighter, this blotting also. And uh, this go out, outside the frame. Okay, don't stop. So I, uh, I, I see here large, medium, and small group, um, but you don't have to really uh, clearly define the boundaries. But in my mind, I always uh, look at that way. Also, I look at uh, the diagonals. So there are some diagonals. Of course, they're more horizontal, but uh, diagonals usually better so i developed this uh, here i just touch a little water so that makes a soft soft tip mm -hmm. yeah okay here Sometimes we call it the uh, plum blossom if you do mm -hmm. like a five. But don't really make a five, but it looks like five. Right? And then you you hide it. You make a, a few more. Try to do a, uh, a, a yeah. number of um, Out groupings. groupings. Yeah. Uh, and then you, after the five, you can add uh, some isolated ones. But mm -hmm. this, this little one is really, I, I just realized, really uh, important to to help fill in the you know the balance and the filling I mean I'll call this jumpers to to connect connect different uh, um, groups yeah just, you know just and you can make the make this larger if you need it. 
but the separate ones usually is smaller, I see. It's not very big. Okay. You, know, you, you, you will see people like imaginative uh, strokes. Then we, we, when you see your mind uh, where to do, then you just do it. You can hesitate in the air, but once you touch the paper, you have to be decisive. very decisive. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, and let's do... Um, I think this one is what uh, the composition would mm -hmm. be relevant to. So he has uh, flower leaves around here and then here. I think it is more, uh, we call it solid or hard. You may call it hard and uh, soft transition. Okay. Uh, solid is, is more defined. Yeah. So we can do the solid here. Um, perspectively, it should be like smaller, right? But you don't have to, um, because the distance from here to there, that's not very far. So you don't have to really, but um, you, can, you can, maybe you can change uh, with more blue. You can change the, yeah, maybe a little bit more blue. But that's too pure. Okay. The, the, the best is uh, your loading is uh, uh, just, you know, don't reload un until it's exhaust. Usually got the best. So let's just try without reload this much. Yeah, my thoughts, it tends to be too uh, oval <laughs> and it should be rounded. I think the correlation a little bit will help. Just half uh, cluster here, still more outside the frame. Okay, this corner should be empty. Uh, this is light. Okay. So those some of those under the building. That's good. Okay. Uh, we'll just do now my brush is pretty light, I know that. So I'll do something behind here first. Yeah. I think this goes straight down. Concentrate and uh, Spread. So the horizon is outside the frame. Let's see this one. Oh, there, there's a space. So we just do like a partial copy here. I think maybe it's a good idea to indicate the horizon, um, but not not possible now. I just, okay. So on, on this one, we we'll just do just leave it like that. Now the the stem uh, under it it should be lighter. I think the the, sh the flower is in root. So this this stem actually is lighter, right? Or thin. 
he, he does in two in the group. One may be longer, one uh, short. Mm -hmm. And you can add some single ones, but uh, most of them, I see, yeah. It, it, it may vary the, the distance, you know, but, but two is like uh, two legs, you know. <laughs> uh, they looked like sheep to me when I first yeah, saw Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that, that's a good mm -hmm. analogy. It's, it's more stable to oh. do two. And some small ones, you can just do one. Why does he do two? Um, it might indicate overlapping oh. of oh, leaves. That's true. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, I think it's just two. visually more mm. pleasing. If you just do one, it will more lollipop or something, mm. and stable. <laughs> I think. Mm. It's an art just to make it look random, even though you plan it out. When you look at it, it looks random. Right, you right. Very carefully place all of those dots. Yeah, the, 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 the you look at all the dots exactly like uh -huh. you, you, you um, when you do it. Yeah, so it will become lighter. I'm not sure if he does the uh, little round center on this. I don't think so. It would be too much detail. <laughs> in, in flower painting, we, we also do the center, the vein. You know, the, I remember when yeah. I used to pay, paint a lotus leaf and then the, the yeah, stem, yeah. which has thorns no, on this, it. This mm -hmm. is not to the... He, he might do uh, some... If you look at uh, that that uh, this one, it, it has the dark dots. It's a shading kind of. If we can do that, uh, like, uh, like, uh, I, I might. I'd like to copy that. Yeah, uh, I, I might add because I want to distinguish these three. Maybe we just add a little dark mm. to, to the center, you know. But but don't do th all three. Maybe just do two, one or two. So, uh, because this is in the front, so I add a little extra weight mm -hmm. by doing this this shading. Dots. It, it's not uh, the vein, but it might be just uh, light uh, shade, shadow. Yeah, and you can do a little bit more. Then there's no more in the distance, so that creates maybe a little bit um, depth, more depth. And I can use a little uh, what I was pointed brush. You got, and I use a uh, rouge. I already squeezed the, oh, uh, not rouge. Uh, yeah, you can use rouge, I think. Kama is a little fresh, uh, more stronger. So maybe we use a little rouge to blend it. Okay. It's a little cooler. Let me try. Oh, okay, so he, he just do uh, three, three strokes. Yeah. I'll start from here. Oh, I see. Little, little tiny. Yeah, some part, just one stroke, maybe uh, three, three the most. Those should be chickens. Okay, the, look at the, the lotus. Oh, they look like little crowns. So you used to uh, live in Silver Lake. Mm -hmm. There, there's lotus there. I used to go there to do uh, lotus. Yes. Yeah. 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 This is the time to go. And you have Echo Park or? Echo. Oh, Echo Park. Yeah, they have. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What well, what is the name? I saw so. Like, it's not like it's like a reservoir. It's like not really. Oh, nothing the Echo, 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 Echo Lake, Lake. Yeah, yeah. where you have the fountain, yeah. the uh, LA, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Like, like a. a yeah, 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 yeah. The Huntington Gardens has uh, a whole. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Huntington Gardens. Garden. It's very close here. Yeah. We should go there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just full. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was there over a weekend. Did you? How were the lotuses? Did you go to lotuses? I saw a lot of. Not yet, yeah, they're yeah, starting I now. Still, I saw one, and I was like, whoa, it's so nice. Oh, you know, you'll see oh, more in Hangzhou. It's so beautiful. Um, it's so beautiful. What, yeah. when, when do they bloom, the lotus? Um, I it's think so nice. uh, from now to maybe early uh, next month, mm -hmm. I think, yeah. Uh, you, did you, they have a lotus festival in Echo Lake. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Echo Park, the, mm -hmm. it's uh, mm -hmm. south. Pacific South 
what are they called? Islanders or something like that. Mm. I, I went there the other time, uh, but several years ago, many years ago. Very nice. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, we'll just do. I think it's uh, along the top. Always, yeah, I thought you can put it in gives between. It energy yeah. with that red dot in it. Right. It's too big. Maybe just, uh, some of them may be just a little one dot. Mm -hmm. well, it's an optical uh, impression of uh, the. It, you, mm -hmm. you could have fresher uh, colors because I got mm -hmm. ink in the, bro in the brush. Mm -hmm. um, and then we will we'll darken the roof with a little uh, more ink or indigo, I think. Let's see. Ink and indigo. Just bluish gray. Mm -hmm. You don't have to fill in all this. I think oh. some 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 uh, white uh, pockets make it uh, uh, leave the breath. We call it. <laughs> Let it breath. Mm -hmm. Might be, you know, like in the drizzle or some, <coughs> some uh, uh, wet. So you, you, feel, you feel like a mist, you, you know, like a morning or some, uh, some uh, morning mist, like haze. Yeah. Okay, we call it the June gray here. Right? <laughs> okay. Um, he, he, he keep this architecture details all um, just like that. Right? So you can make, make it some part of smearing a little bit to soften the, the edge, maybe a little bit. But not deliberate, you know, just let it, it's, it feels like you didn't really uh, do it with a pen, it could be just smearing, it, it does sometimes, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's it, and then, uh, and he, he, I can write a short uh, title or just to, uh, sign like he did here with just a, a short name and a seal. Oh. Um, uh, think. Usually uh, I won't sell, uh, I mean, I, I won't sign on top of, uh, of the painting, but this looks like a good place oh. today. It's like a opening and closing, you know, balance. So I'll just put my name there to fill in that space. Instead of adding more things, mm -hmm. I just write my name. Make sure it's black enough. Okay, good. There's no extra dots. My, my friend in China is really picky on this. <laughs> he, he, he was like, oh, you know, some extra stroke. <laughs> um, let's see. And the seal. Chinese name, for, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, but you can sign with your first name, like I did. 
the, the seal is the uh, last name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the, the point I tried to make is uh, uh, paint uh, out of the frame mm -hmm. or a canvas uh, mm -hmm. to suggest uh, infinity mm -hmm. um, and uh, leave a lot of white space, negative mm -hmm. space um, for the reason. Yeah. Okay. Did, did you include this one in your um, email to us? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't remember seeing it. You can, I you like can use it. this for, as a reference to this. Okay. So, um, we'll maybe do another demo after you sure. practice. Okay. 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 I'll be, we'll be back uh, later. After, let's half hour. Mm -hmm. Do half hour. Okay. <laughs>